Master, I did not deserve to find that behind. Oh, Ruth. Ruth, I must be circumspect. Ruth, you're considerably older than I. And it's true that you mean a lot to me, but a boy of 21 usually looks for a wife of 17. A wife of 17? You'll find me a wife of 1,000. No, I find you a wife of 47, and that is quite enough. <laughs> Speak candidly and without reserve. Compared to other women, how are you? I will answer you truthfully, Master. I have a slight cold, but otherwise I'm quite well. <laughs> well, I'm sorry for your cold, but I was referring rather to your personal appearance. Ruth, are you beautiful? I have been told so, dear Master. Oh, lately? Oh, no, years and years ago. <laughs> uh, what do you think of yourself? That is a delicate question to answer, Master, but I think I'm a fine woman! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know you would not prey on my inexperience, Ruth, and if you are, as you say, a fine woman, <laughs> then your age shall be of no obstacle to our union. <laughs> Hark! I hear voices! Who could have ventured to intrude in our all but inaccessible lair? Could it be the Coast Guard? No, it doesn't sound like the Coast Guard. Confusion! It is the voice of a young girl. If you should see this, then I am lost. Oh, it's a bevy of beautiful young maidens. Lost, lost, lost. Oh, how beautiful, how marvelous. How exceedingly beautiful is the plainest of them. Such charm, such delicacy, such fine hands. And the truth, you told me you were beautiful. Oh, false one, you have deceived me.